a CNN exclusive, revealing an inside look at the Trump administration and its commitment to combating white supremacy and struggles about that. Multiple current and former senior Trump administration officials and others close to the administration tell me that for more than a year, White House officials rebuffed their colleagues at the Department of Homeland Security who are trying to include domestic terror threats, such as those from white supremacists, as a greater priority, one specifically spelled out in the national counterterrorism strategy that was issued last November. A senior source telling me, quote, Homeland Security officials battled the White House for more than a year to get them to focus more on domestic terrorism. The White House wanted to focus only on the jihadist threat, which, while serious, ignored the reality that racial supremacist violence was rising fast here at home. They had major ideological blinders on, unquote. The national counterterrorism strategy, which I said was issued last fall, and as a source involved in the discussions, put it to me, quote, ultimately the White House just added one paragraph about domestic terrorism as a throwaway line. It makes no mention specifically of white, white supremacists. A current senior Trump administration official told me that when it comes to combating the threat of domestic terrorism, Homeland Security is, quote, behind the curve because of lack of support from the White House. Recall back in March, President Trump was asked directly about the threat of white supremacy and white nationalism after 51 innocent Muslims were murdered in that deadly mosque attack in New Zealand. You see today white nationalism as a rising threat around the world. I don't really. I think it's a uh, small group of people that have very, very serious problems. Now, why the White House pushed back so much against people at the Department of Homeland Security is a matter of some debate. A former senior administration official noted that, except when he seems to be forced to do so, as happened Monday when the president condemned white supremacy, President Trump generally seems to be reluctant to do so. The senior source telling me that overlaying the entire debate, the back and forth between the White House and DHS, was the belief among White House officials that criticizing white supremacist domestic terrorists would be an issue potentially for the president. Quote, you know it will trigger the boss. Just minutes ago, a senior administration official told me, quote, this administration's national strategy for counterterrorism was the first to ever include domestic terrorism. This issue continues to be a priority for this administration, and the National Security Council has launched an interagency process focused on combating domestic terrorism in support of the president's counterterrorism strategy. So that's, that's a lot going on there, but, but let's talk about this. Because, Maggie, what we have here is a lot of people who are familiar with this process or involved in this process saying, we just couldn't get them to put it in the document. They just didn't want to. And one of the reasons was the concern that this would alarm and upset President Trump. Another theory was that, especially when it came to not President Trump, but people underneath President Trump, they thought that the Obama White House was uh, so sensitive and politically correct about not mentioning Islamic terrorism that there was almost an overcorrection to only talk about Islamic terrorism. That was another theory. Um, but what's your reaction? I mean, among the many the many issues is that we there's no one who can actually set, who, who is willing to say clearly why this is happening, right? So all we are left is with is theorizing. It is is plain from his own language that the president has not treated uh, domestic terrorism and white nationalists and white supremacists as a similar threat um, to uh, you know other terror groups that he ran against in 2016. He spent most of 2016 talking about how people who would not say uh, radical Islamic terrorism were cowards, and he made this a centerpiece of his campaign. It clearly hasn't been a, a priority. It has been a priority increasingly for law enforcement, for yeah. federal law enforcement within the administration. You have seen this dichotomy between what the president says, and again, to your point, what they are prioritizing within the White House uh, and, and what the other arms of government are doing. But as to why, I mean, I, I'm, I'm loath to speculate, frankly. I think it would really be nice if we had a briefing or a press conference or really almost anything where this question could be asked. Uh, and here's the thing, Jake. Yeah. The thing is, is anybody here surprised that the president resisted this, that the White House, House resisted this? I would be more surprised if you had a story that said Donald Trump had a meeting and when this came up, he said, you know what? Those rats, they are infesting the country. I want you to go get those white supremacists. We're going to send the military and the border patrol and whatever we have to do to go get them. But that's not what he says when it comes to white supremacists, white nationalists. That's what he says when it comes to Mexican, Mexicans and, and migrants and people who are here seeking asylum. That's when he goes after humans who are just trying to get a better life, not the people who are trying to restrict Americans from having a better And the life. FBI director, Christopher Ray just testified, and right. he was appointed by President Trump, right. uh, that domestic terrorism, the, the number of arrests, is about the same uh, as international terrorism, and most of those are white supremacists. Well, yes, but I think the president has been very clear, even before these incidents happened, 
that he, the all types of terrorism, and I think it's an oversimplification is his point is to say it's white supremacists or, or to have some political line that uh, satisfies uh, a segment of the society. He's talking about all terrorism. He, he, he made references to uh, Antifa, for example, uh, trying to have that designated as, as a terrorist organization. Uh, so the president, I think his statement was clear. I think the administration's position is that domestic terrorism of any kind uh, should be uh, absolutely uh, not only eradicated but but fought. I, I do think, though, the last 20 years we have been focused on jihadists and our, our concern, whether it's been Democrats or Republicans, has always been the foreign threat. I, for example, before these terrible incidents, mm -hmm. I didn't see a lot of talk about uh, domestic terrorism of the Democratic debate, or for that matter, even the gun issue. Didn't come, even come up in one of the debates. So uh, the, 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 these incidents happen. Uh, they're, they're hopefully a catalyst for good out of something terrible. Yeah. So that's on us, not the Democratic yes. candidates, I should say. We're the one that's, ones that <laughs> ask the questions.